Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to look at the vertical and horizontal controls of the scope. Now before we start, notice that the color of the run stop button is red. This indicates that the scope is currently not reading the input channels. This is also indicated on the screen in the top left corner here. Let's press auto to display the input square wave. Notice now how the two indicators have changed. This green light here tells you which channel is on, in our case only channel 1. We'll work with multiple channels later on, but in the meantime, while we're still learning the basics, we'll just stick with one channel. Now there are a couple things to notice on the screen. First is this red tag here, which tells you where the zero ground reference is with respect to your signal. This right here at the bottom tells you the voltage division. Currently I am at a 500 millivolt division. This means that every division you see here on the screen will represent 500 millivolts. Therefore our test square wave has a minimum value at zero and a peak of three volts. To change the voltage division, you can turn this knob here. Turning it clockwise will increase the voltage division and turning it the other way will decrease the voltage division. For a finer control of the voltage division, you can click in the knob first and then turn. To control the vertical position of the signal, you can turn this knob up here. The position indicator here will tell you how far your signal has moved with respect to the ground reference. If for some reason you lost track of your signal or you want to bring your signal back to center, you can just go ahead and click into the position knob. Okay, let's look at the horizontal controls, which will allow you to control the time axis. First, just to clear some space, turn off the menu tab. You can do this by pressing this button right here. To demonstrate the horizontal controls, I'll go ahead and pause the scope. Currently, we're at a time division of 500 microseconds. To change the time division, you can turn this knob here. When using the scope, you will generally find yourself manipulating both the horizontal and vertical controls to get the desired display. To move your signal with respect to the time axis, you can turn this knob right here. The tag up here shows you how far you've moved compared to your initial reference. Okay, let's look at this portion of the screen right here. Anytime you run your scope, your waveform will be stored in memory. This right here will tell you where you are in memory as you are moving your signal around. To zoom in, click into the big knob. You can then expand or retract to a specific region by turning the knob. You can then move the region of zoom by turning the position knob up here. Okay, that concludes the basics of vertical and horizontal controls. I'll see you guys in the next video.